my friends, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yoso Boho. If you are a friend of mine and you're here, I appreciate you coming back. If you're new to the channel, hello, welcome. We are going thrifting today. It is a Thursday night thrifting adventure. We're gonna go to two Goodwills. Irf and I were out just this past Sunday. It was like a precursor Valentine's Day date. Yes, we consider going to Goodwill a date because <laughs> we both have fun and we like it. Look at my little cute cat over here. She's checking out some of the art that we found. Speaking of found art, I am super excited about something that I didn't know was so important when I first edited this video. So please stick around to the end to see this amazing find. I wonder what she smells on there. A little cutie. She's got a little bed over here that she sleeps in. <laughs> so maybe she's heading that direction. Cats are so curious, right? Before we go shopping, I want to just say that this is the sweater I was supposed to be wearing on Tuesday's video. If you missed Tuesday's video, it was a big, cool kind of thrift haul. I will post it up here. You can go take a look. Um, but this was also a sweater that I thrifted. This is a J. Jill branded um, sweater, and this is a beautiful orange. Um, and I'm such a fan of orange. I love orange, green, brown. Um, so this was like, ooh, yes, <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> I think I paid like $3.39 for it or something like that. And I absolutely adore it. Just wanted to share that before we get into it. But now that I did, let's get into it. Let's go shopping. As I mentioned, we started right here down the road at my 501 South Avenue Talmadge Goodwill. And the very first thing that greeted me was this pretty little shamrock piece. It's like somebody left it here in the beginning of the linens, blankets, tablecloths, things aisle. <laughs> that little spot scratched right off later. So I was happy to pick this up. This is a perfect booth item. I'm always looking for seasonal stuff and look at this cute little, it's like a three foot by three foot, maybe card table size or small table size embroidered shamrock cute piece with the little scalloped edges it is not old it has a tag on it somewhere it just says 100 percent polyester not sure who made it i haven't been able to find it yet but it's just one of those things that i think will sell very quick in the booth for some reason people like the holidays <laughs> and i watch it when we work there i watch all the little easter stuff come through and the saint patrick's day stuff come through so I am way more in tune to it now when I'm out shopping than I ever was before. I continued down this area of blankets and things, found this little lap quilt that was cute. You can see it's uh, kind of modern. There's a little Blue's Clues patch in there. I think I saw a Pink Panther. <laughs> Here's a throw. Some of these are worth taking out and looking at, but didn't really see anything else in that area. Right on the opposite side, there are some craft things, and I did notice this Crayola kit. Kind of wish I would have picked it up. It was a little pricey. It was $5, and I did put it in my cart. I think when we looked it up, um, it was something between $18 and $20. But as I'm looking again, it is a discontinued piece, so possibly a little bit more, and maybe I should have picked it up but I left it for somebody who will enjoy it. Thought these were funny and had to share. <laughs> They're in a coffin shaped case there. Let's see what's over here. Oh, I saw these back here. They are handkerchiefs, a six piece set. They have it priced for $6. There's actually only five of them in there. So really not worth it since they only originally retailed for 25. Then I looked up here and I saw these cute little guys, $4. I'm thinking, yeah, these will be cute at the booth. We like to decorate for Easter and I need lots of bunnies, so they come with me. Very cute little bunny family, all dressed in their Sunday best. And this was just a no brainer for the shop. I think they will sell pretty quickly based on other things that I see that sell there. I'm guessing at the shop, probably in the 10 to $15 range, probably closer to 15 is what I'll charge for them. Super cute. 
I have moved on to some china and these are some nice restaurant wear pieces made by Shenango. It's in kind of like a Greek key, which I have not found that pattern. These were really interesting too. These were made by the Rosenthal Group. Um, they are German. Um, Thomas. Thomas is the brand. If you find these, not in these patterns, I never I never found these patterns. Um, and it was weird that it was just a mug and a bowl. But if you find white pieces of this Thomas Rosenthal, they make different kinds, like trend white and such. Man, those sell for good money. So don't pass up on looking at the white dishes. <laughs> this is a whole set of a... Uh, I believe it's made by Homer Lachlan. This is Eggshell Nautilus. And some of these pieces I should have taken a second look at because that piece right there in the back, that soup terrain, $42, that's what it sold for. And I'm guessing they probably had four or five on it, which would probably have been worth a pickup. Here's a nice, uh, pretty set too. These are by Cannonsburg. They're called Wild Clover. I just get angry with Goodwill that they price everything different. It makes me like want to get certain pieces, like the serving bowl was probably worth some money, but I don't like to split up the sets either. It's like tears at my heart. <laughs> These were cute little vintage pieces, kind of big for salt and pepper, and I like those little pieces too. I'm in like a green area. We're going to head down some color blocked areas. So I'm in the green. Nothing here until I see this little yellow section and this little guy. Oh, I'm so happy to see this one. Super ironic that I just saw this on another channel and made mention that I never see those when I'm thrifting and here is one. like. Not even in a week. It's so funny how things manifest themselves. I just saw one of these on my friend Natisha's channel. Her channel is Eclectic Vintage Thrifter. If you are not subscribed to her channel, please go subscribe. She is nearing 5,000 subscribers. I think she's only like maybe 40 or 50 away. And she just bumped a bunch of her subscribers over to my channel knowing that I was on my way to 2,000, which was super cool and if you came over from her channel hello <laughs> please go check out her channel and subscribe to her i will put that right below so you can find her really easy but anyway she had found one of these and hers was cooler it had like a wasp or a bee on it um, but what this is is a bug catcher and this one isn't old but i will show you one that i actually have it is an old one but they do these like blown glass pieces where they knock out the bottom. They put a bubble in there and they knock it out so that the bugs will fly in, but they can't get out. So I'll show you mine real quick. Mine is old. Mine is this big green one <laughs> and I love it. And I was super excited to see it on Natisha's channel because I was like, no way, I have one of those. I need to get a cork for mine. I had never seen one while I was out thrifting and I even commented on her channel. I said, oh, I have one of those and I don't ever see them. <laughs> Here's one right at my local thrift store. <laughs> How about that? Oh, I went from yellow. I skipped orange because there is nothing there. And now I'm in the red. <laughs> she was cute. And up here in this box is this little China girl. She's pretty cute. I see a green tag on her. Let me see. Green is the half off color for the day. And she's five, which makes her 250. Oh my gosh. It looks like I'm getting a doll. Never say never. <laughs> I bought a doll. <laughs> when we looked her up, she sells for between 20 and 25. It was one of those things that, yeah, I couldn't pass her up. I will probably be putting her on eBay since she is still new in her box. There is some sticker residue here. I might be able to get that off, but look at what's behind there. This cute little panda that comes with her. Very sweet. If they all looked this cute and were new in the box, I may pick them up. <laughs> Maybe. I was rounding the corner. I was going to make a large loop around the furniture, but then I spotted this thing here. And it was talking to me. It was flashing at me. It was calling my name. 
and I decided for five dollars it was coming home with me too. This is so much fun. I love his scratchy laugh, even when you dial. It's very cool. And I have learned that anything animated over at the shop, when I buy it, it sells, it sells quick. So this is gonna go over to the shop. I'm gonna hang on to it until Halloween time. And then it has a sensor button so that when you pass in front of it, it will actually, you know, talk to you. And when somebody walks past, it'll make noise. Look behind you. <laughs> Funny thing is, when we had this in the trunk, it would get bumped around and it would talk. <laughs> we could hear it in the trunk talking to us. Anyway, over at the shop, I'll share here what I'm going to price it for. Um, based on the comps I find. I have not looked into this piece yet. Let's take a look at that second Goodwill. It is straight down the road, right down Route 91 from Talmadge down to uh, another part of Akron called Lakemore. Let's check that out. Started over here in the clear section and I saw this really pretty hexagon shaped glass. This is probably a Tierra made glass and they just don't cost a whole bunch. So I passed on it. This looked like a neat glazed bowl, but it was very modern. So also skipped on that. And this is an Anchor Hawking Clear Pumpkin. These can sell a little bit better during the holiday time, but they had $5 on that. I probably would have picked it up if it was the half off color, but green was the color today. So speaking of green, <laughs> these frogs were adorable. They also had $5 on that and it probably would have sold for maybe around 20 bucks. It's a resin piece that you could hang on the wall, but I skipped that. Pretty little piece from Portugal here. That was $2, but not an easy sell. I've had similar pieces. Actually, I probably have similar pieces on eBay right now, so I passed on that one too. I love the color of these apple bowls here. These are made by a California pottery company um, but for three dollars a piece four of them is 12 for the set and I'd be lucky to get 12 for these even on eBay so I had to pass on these that was unfortunate because man that color was gorgeous checked out one of these little green trays I saw two of them they were just made in China nothing too special there liked this pretty plate with the butterflies but it was just a, you know, made in China, not food safe. So we're gonna move down into the blue. I should have grabbed this. This is an anthropology plate. Rebecca Rabouche, Rabouche, I don't know her name. <laughs> Rebecca. These can sell for $20 to $25. Um, this is an RRPC mug, little spongeware, wheat pattern. Not a lot of value here, even though they only had a dollar on it. And I really did consider it because of that, but I'm trying to forego the smalls with little value. Just don't get excited about listing them, just like these. They're beautiful, but they're party light, and at five or six dollars each, not a good value there. That was a pretty fancy piece, but it was damaged. So you can see we're in the blue. Now we're moving to the purple. And what do I spy? Crackle glass! Yay! I'll take this. Love the shape on this. It's kind of wonky with that tall little spout there. It was $3. The last piece of crackle glass I got in the Tuesday video this week, it was an amber piece and I paid 99 cents for it. So when I saw this one, I was like, $3? <laughs> That's still a great price. This is purple and purple is not an easy color to find. Amethyst is what they call it. And a lot of the colors um, that were made back then, they had to use certain elements. Actually, like real cranberry glass, they use gold to make that color. So I don't know what they had to use for purple or amethyst, but I do know it's a little bit more rare. 
In fact, I'm learning a little bit about all of this stuff. So before the whole internet happened, um, people who bought and sold these type of pieces didn't have the ability to get online and source them like they do now. So the values of them have changed incredibly because now with eBay, they're easier to come by. They're not as hard to get. So for example, this isn't the exact same, but you can see this picture here with the big wonky top. Looks a lot like the one that I found. And this one says it was made by Rainbow Glass Company and that the value, and this was in the mid 90s, this book, <laughs> the value then was between 65 and $75. Now, of course, this isn't anywhere near that. In fact, this is probably, it could be a $20 piece. Purple amethyst is harder to find. So maybe an 18 to $22 piece. Um, but nowhere near 70 bucks. <laughs> I always say these are great for identification and for learning. The values are so out of whack, but still, if you see something that has like a $300, you know, value on it, it may be because it was rare even then, um, could still be rare now. And that might give you an indication that, oh, this is something I should dig a little deeper on because maybe in fact it is a little bit more valuable. So they do help in that light, but yeah, these pieces aren't worth anywhere near what they were before we had a thing called eBay. <laughs> still a great first find and it'll be going into my collection. Still over here in the purple section, Love this little glossy rabbit basket here. Maybe I should have grabbed that for the booth. It was only $4. I probably would have only gotten maybe 12. Then I saw this piece. Look at this piece of pretty pottery. Oh my gosh, you know this came home with me. Yes, also in that purple section, this really cool pottery piece. Studio art, well constructed, beautiful. Look at this, beautiful glaze. Very kind of cool handle there. It reminds me almost of like two grapes and a grapevine, right? Just that color. It is not a color that I have in my collection. I don't have any purple, but this has a really cool natural look to it. So it'll totally fit in with my collection. It is signed. I think it's signed and dated, but I'm not sure. I just see a kind of a squiggly squiggly. <laughs> I paid $5 for it, which is a great, great purchase on a piece of studio pottery that I can add to my collection. Look at that color. What is this pretty blue piece out of order here? Love the color on that, but it's modern. But there was something hiding back here and I decided to check it out colorful coasters. I know that Ed Hardy used to be popular, but I also know that some Ed Hardy stuff will sell now. I've seen some other YouTubers pick it up. They have the Love Kills Slowly slogan on them, and they're in four different colors. I don't see another set like this listed on eBay, so I may try them there first. Now we're back in the art section, and I noticed this beautiful print. I noticed it because of the critters and the light and the colors. Yes, everything about it was just kind of adorable and very magical. And although I don't buy prints ever, <laughs> unless they're special and signed, and maybe this one had some sort of special thing to it. Okay, it must. <laughs> because I ended up getting it. I broke my own rules. I don't usually buy prints and I definitely don't ordinarily buy a print that has that weird textured overlay that makes it look like a painting, <laughs> which this has. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Oh yeah, you can see it in there. They literally go over it with like a shellac and they add that texture so it looks like it's been painted, but it has not been painted. It is just a print. But oh my gosh, look at those critters, look at the colors. It just caught my attention and then I couldn't let it go. When I looked it up, the last couple of these sold on eBay for $75. So I know that there's some value here for $8. 
it looks like at least 10 times my money. And I don't know if I want to ship it. <laughs> I think maybe, you know, it's it's definitely an eye catcher. And I think maybe in the whimsical booth over at the shop, this will do well. It's just one of those things that I think that somebody will fall in love with. I kind of did when I saw it. Still in the art section, I liked this piece because I liked the rustic nature of it, but I passed on it and I, oh, Earth's showing me a Hunter piece here. Looks like it was framed, it's a print, looks like it was framed in the 80s. Some beautiful big photography. I told Earth we need to go there. <laughs> How pretty. And then I spotted this and it is ginormous. And it looks like maybe a colored print, I don't know. And then I zoom in here to check out what it is and am shocked to learn it is a watercolor, a watercolor, a huge big watercolor. I have not been able to figure out the signature yet. It is signed in a place that is over some of this shrubbery and it's hard to read, um, but I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> it is all original. Um, this is why I take a loop <laughs> with me to the Goodwill. I'm going to back off so you can see it. It's just super cool. And I'll zoom in here for the signature so you can see it in the corner. It's in there, I promise. <laughs> I, I'm having a hard time with it. But it's like L and then S-T-R-A something. Um, or the L is like an upside down T. I can't decipher yet, it's driving me crazy. But I haven't spent the kind of time that I wanna spend on it. I mean, literally we found this yesterday. So <laughs> Sunday for you, it's like, you know, a few days ago, but hopefully um, I will find some information before I get this up and I will of course share it on screen. But wow, right? You just never know what you're gonna find <laughs> at a Goodwill. And I have a feeling about this piece and I'm excited about it. Oh my gosh, you guys. I posted my photos of this painting on a Facebook page called Identify and Value My Paintings and someone identified it. The painting is by James Lawson Stewart. It led me to this other painting, which is a much smaller version and actually a later version. This one was done in 1870. Mine is probably between 1850, 1860. Side by side, you can actually see the difference here. Mine is on the bottom. There's a lot more of the ruins out from the structure. Here in 1870, they had added a roof and had knocked down some. And here's an even later, this is a photo. Here, see my door right there? Um, this is, the actual thing has been knocked down and it was rebuilt. So what you're seeing here out front, you can see a little bit of the ruins, but that whole side there was added in the 70s. Um, by a couple who bought it in 1970 and renovated it over three years. This is the couple. This is Allison and Sandy Grant. And oh my gosh, you guys, there's a whole documentary about this castle. It's called, and I'm going to butcher this, but <laughs> Invaquerti Castle. And you can see it on Amazon Prime. I watched it this morning. I like died several times watching it because I fell in love with the woman, um, Allison. And it was so sad that she had to give up her castle. But look at this. This is what was on the market in like 2016. They completely renovated the inside even after this couple left, which I believe was like 2012. It's incredible. There's the inside of the door that you can see in the painting from the outside. But I found so much information. I've just dove in in the last um, night and morning here and I'm editing this literally hours before I'm about to post it so I can tell you guys that I found this pretty amazing piece of history and the plan is figure out the value <laughs> which is going to be tricky but even more important get it back over to Scotland find out who needs to have it there and I'm going to connect with somebody over there so that we can get it back home Okay, now back to the regular show. Nothing else is going to seem as exciting, but let's finish this out with a couple more cool finds.
I moved into the aisles where the figurines and things were and I really didn't find much. I did find this vintage fiber optic angel and I was checking her out when Earth came over with this box, brand new, it's a pet drinking fountain. And he said it's $15 and I said let's get it. <laughs> and so here it is in our kitchen. It's very cool and for $15 we got an $85 pet fountain. Here's the last thing that I found. It's just fun and I thought you know for a dollar I'm gonna grab this. It's too cute. Be a nice little thing you know to keep in the cupboard so that when somebody says yeah I'll just take half a cup. <laughs> cute right? I paid a dollar for it and I have passed up on getting these in the past but we have a mug area of one of our booths and I thought this would be great just to stick in that little mug collection and I'm sure somebody will grab it. It's just too cute and it's in really nice condition. It's definitely vintage, but it is in beautiful shape. And that is it, my friends. That is all of the shopping and the hauling and all of the things. If you're still here at this point, you probably already know this, but I love you. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you're still here and you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and then do me a favor. Click the little uh, alarm button so you know when I put up a new video. It happens a couple of times a week. And while you're clicking around down there, hit a like or a dislike. I don't care. And leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me about something that you saw that you really liked or just say hello. And then the last thing and the greatest thing that you can do because we are literally like, I don't know, 70 or 80 away from that 2000 um, benchmark. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I would love to hit it so that we can do something to celebrate. Definitely have some sort of giveaway prize type of thing. Um, share the channel out because that's the best way to get there. Tell your friends that you found a channel that you like. Tell them to come on over and subscribe. Join our little Yoso Boho tribe. And with that, I will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Until then, please take care of yourselves. I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.